In this video, basically what I'm going to do is I want to kind of mostly give a bit of a definition of this term here, demarcation of Sir, of Sir Karl, Karl Popper. Um, an awesome book to read, which is basically the main one, I would say, by him is The Logic of Scientific Discovery. Awesome book, I would say. Um, so I want to kind of relate this term. This is the main term I want to kind of discuss here, because I've discussed you know, a lot of the, a lot of some, I've discussed these two and some of the other ones in, in other videos I've done about Popper. But first, first of all, I want to discuss demarc demarcation. So, first off, um, Popper was a deductivist in that he didn't, he didn't believe in or didn't agree with inductivist logic or inductive reasoning in science. I should know, that, I should know that this is philosophy of science kind of give some context. So it is philosophy of science. Um, he thought that in science, he first of all he was a he was a foundationalist. He believed in or he did agree with having observation as somewhat of a foundation, but he 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 didn't think that we could really prove theories. So we don't have verifiability. No, we have no verifiability, nor do we have confirmation. Confirmation is a word that Schlick used, which is like, if we have a certain scientific data that we've been coming up with, we have, we have observational data which will confirm it as true or falsify it. Popper didn't think that we could, that we could, that we could confirm or verify things, but we should falsify them. In that the whole, the whole, the whole um, action of science is to make is to have theories that make predictions, and the whole work of science is to find ways to disprove them or to falsify them. However, if we have a certain hypothesis that we've been testing rigorously and it has not yet been falsified, then it has been corroborated. That's corroboration. Um, so it's been tested a bunch, and it has n and, and it, and it, it has yet to be falsified. That's corroboration. So the problem of induction is the problem with inductive logic in that, you know, let's say, we, we, let's say we, we've, only seen, we've only seen pink elephants. We've only empirically observed pink elephants. So just 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 because we've just because we've only seen pink elephants, does that mean that that there are no gray elephants? So basically, just because state, states states of affairs are are a certain way, doesn't mean that they are that they are not otherwise. So, um, you know, just because we have empirical observational data of one thing, to of state of states of affairs being one way, doesn't mean that they are. Otherwise, um, so what Popper thinks is that the is that, in, that is that inductive logic leads to metaphysical speculation or supposition. So finally, to back to this term demarcation. In this book, he kind of states as. Um, one of the things that that science needs to do is to have some kind of criterion of, of demarcation um, to demarcate itself from metaphysical speculation and metaphysical supposition. So we have to. The, the problem of demarcation is to separate or demarcate um, all of science from metaphysics or things that are meaningless, things that can't be verified, things that poison science because of that. Um, and the criterion of demarcation is this, falsifi falsifiability. So just like for people like Carnap and Schlick, the way, the, the, the way to find meaningfulness, we have the, the verifiability theory of meaning. 
for popper, we have the falsifiability, which if we have a statement that, that can be falsified, you know, if we have a statement that could possibly be, be falsified, it has meaning of some sort. That's the, that's the way that we can demarcate science from metaphysical, su metaphysical sp speculation or metaphysical su supposition. So the whole thing is that the whole thing that, 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 that science should, sh should do in order to have a, a productive kind of progress or some sort of notion of scientific progress And I say progress because Popper doesn't really agree with having scientific knowledge or proof of theories. So science does no positive work, but it does some negative work. Um, so that's this is the whole thing of demarcation. That the whole thing is to separate all of science from philosophy and speculation that is meaningless and um, or for Carnap is pseudo statements. So that's what demarcation is. Um, I've recently finished my f my my draft of my of my writing sample for grad school. It is kind of agreeing with Popper and against people like Putnam. Um, so if you, if you if you think I've messed something up, or if you, or, or or if you, if you think I've left something out that should be included, or or if you want something to be explained that is in this book. Please comment below. I'd love, love to d discuss with you. Also, if you if you, if you, have, if you have a question about any kind of philosophy of science or any philosophy at all, also also comment below. I'd love to d discuss with you.